50,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Our so-called leaders prostituted us to the West. Destroyed our culture, our economies, our honor. Hi everybody and welcome to my review of Call of Duty 4 for the Xbox 360. There's no way of getting around it. Call of Duty 4 is probably the best first-person shooter to come out this year, if not in many years. Um, the only one I would even say has a chance of being better than it is the original Halo. Uh, there's just there's not much wrong with this game. It's It's got just about everything. The graphics are the most ridiculous graphics I've ever seen. They're, they're photorealistic. You can, uh, there's points when you can't even see guys hiding in the grass. Uh, there's points when it looks like live action if you're not paying attention. The sun glinting off of your gun. It all just looks so perfect. Uh, they really did a good job. Uh, the only complaint I have about that is that the grass actually doesn't move when you go through it. I mean, if they can do that on a game like Torok, they should be able to do it on a game like Call of Duty, which really pushes the 360 graphically to its limits. But I mean, something like that is completely forgivable when you play the rest of the game. Uh, I'm not looking too much into the graphics of water because I think they've really hammered down getting water to look like water except when it splashes. But again, no game can really do that yet. So we can forgive that. In terms of gameplay, I think the game is really set up perfectly. I, I can't really imagine a better control setup for a first-person shooter. It, it just all feels so natural. Even the story is like something out of a Tom Clancy novel. It's like terrorists, nuclear weapons, Soviet Union. It's got a great storyline. I'm not going to give away too much for those of you who haven't played it, but it's just uh, it's really intriguing. You'll play as four characters through Call of Duty. You're going to be a British SAS officer named Soap McTavish. You're going to play as his commanding officer 15 years ago through two levels. Uh, you're going to play as a bomber pilot in one level. That's a really fun level. And then you're also going to be a U.S. Marine in the Middle East. And I won't give away what happens there, but you're not him for too many levels. Let's put it that way. The online play is outstanding. I mean, it's it's just as fun as the single player. It's great. It's one of those games where you get shot a couple times and you're dead. None of this energy shield crap. I mean, it's really, it tries, if you play hardcore in this game, one bullet from just about any gun is going to kill you. And that's really, they're pushing the realism in this game now. They really want it to feel as close to real war as possible, but still be fun, because we know that real war isn't fun at all. There's a whole horde of weapons and accessories to unlock in the multiplayer. Uh, as you go up in ranks, as you get achievements with certain guns, you'll unlock equipment for them. Uh, scopes, different camouflage for them, you'll unlock even more guns. And at some point you'll get to level 55 and you'll have the opportunity to go into prestige mode where you lose all those guns and you start working your way up from the beginning again. Now, I only have, other than the grass not moving graphics complaint, I only have one other complaint for this game. And that is the ridiculously overpowered assault rifles. I mean, even... I told you in hardcore, a bullet from a gun will kill you. But in regular deathmatch... You can take somebody down with one or two bullets body shot from any assault rifle. And it's just a little ridiculous, especially when half the time you'll shoot them with a 50 caliber round in the leg and they won't go down. But if you put two or three assault rifle rounds into their leg, they're dead. It gets really frustrating for snipers like myself when even body shots, every so often, you won't take them down. But I mean, one or two bullets from an assault rifle and you're done. And with the red dot scope, which is one of the attachments, you can pretty much snipe with an assault rifle. And it's just really frustrating because it takes the skill out of sniping, and it makes it a hell of a lot harder for me to kill them. Other than that, I really don't have too many complaints about the game. It really is a solid game. It's put together great. I mean, I can't wait for the fifth one, even though they're saying now that it goes back to World War II like the other three. But I mean, pick up this game. If you haven't played it, get off your ass. 
go find this game and play it because this is possibly it's the best game of the year it's possibly one of the best games that I've ever seen I give Call of Duty 4 for the Xbox 360 a 5 out of 5